Hey guys, Travis with PMM. Today we're gonna to go over the installs for all the products we make for the CZ Scorpion. All right, to start the install on the front QD mount, you're gonna to wanna to remove your factory hardware. Uh, it's a three millimeter bolt just above your factory slim loop here. Uh, we're using our hardware just because we don't have the factory one anymore. And just as a note, uh, your CZ will have a brass well nut on the other side here to thread into. Ours is missing, so the install will be slightly different, uh, but it'll still apply. So go ahead and remove this cross bolt. And if you're going to install this as a left-handed shooter, you're gonna flip the gun over. So now that we've got the gun flipped over, we can take the supplied hardware and thread it in. Again, ours will thread in slightly easier because we don't have that well nut. As you can see, it'll actually just drop right in through the other side. Again, you'll have to thread yours all the way through that brass well nut. Now you can take the QD mount and you can put a dab of Loctite in the threads here. You don't want the Loctite touching the plastic receiver as it will start to eat away at it. You can thread your QD onto that bolt. And then if you wanna make sure it's nice and tight, you can grab your sling or just a loose QD mount and lock it into the actual QD. If it's a locking mount, you can just go ahead and start to tighten that up. If, <clears throat> if it's a 360, you can just pull on it and give it some tension while you tighten from the other side and help you get uh, everything tightened down and you're good to go. So to install the rear QD mount, we're gonna go ahead and take our QD socket here. This is a right-handed shooter setup um, that you would traditionally install from the rear here. Uh, but these can be installed either way, so you can actually take this and install it forward. It'll just be canted up and vice versa. You can do that on the other side here and that'll allow you to fold the factory stock around it without hitting it. But for the install itself, take your QD cup, put it in there, put a dab of Loctite on your bolt in the end plate here. Get it lined up. These can only go on one way because of the way they're machined. You get it threaded in with your T10 Torx. And then once you're uh, snugged on, you can torque it down to 15 inch pounds. All right, to install our safety selectors or safety delete, um, they will install the same way as the factory ones, so we'll be removing these and reinstalling them. Uh, but the first step is gonna be lock your bolt to the rear, and then you can flip the gun over here, and there's the other side of your takedown pin here. I'm gonna pull that out, and then your receiver can pop off. And we can move on to pulling these out. All right, now that you have your lower receiver removed, you can go ahead, put the safeties into the fire position, and that will align the hardware with this notch here. You can come in with your one and a half mil Allen key, and remove the set screw. And then your safety will come right off the drum. Now that you've removed what would be your factory safety, you can go ahead and reverse that with installing ours. You just go ahead and drop that on. Again, making sure that the hole in the selector drum, or sorry, the safety itself will align with the one on the drum. 
put a little bit of Loctite 242 on the supplied hardware here. Just tighten it down hand tight. You don't need to go very uh, tight on these. There's no torque spec for that. And then make sure you can rotate from fire to safe and you're good to go. All right, and lastly here, we're gonna install our 1913 backplate adapter. So you're gonna either wanna remove your factory stock or brace, or if you don't have one on there, you can just start from here. Uh, you're also going to want to make sure that if you did install any of our QDs or have them, uh, that you don't have any rear-facing QDs installed before you go to install the stock, as they will be in the way. But you can simply just take our uh, backplate adapter with the logo up, start to slide it down onto the receiver. It will be a snug fit. Uh, and then you can depress your rear button here until that snaps into place, and now you're good to go. Uh, you can install whatever 1913 brace or stock uh, that you'd like to, uh, to use on this.